Howdy, cowboy. <laughs> Yo, guys, welcome, welcome back for Workflow Wednesday. In today's video, I'm showing you one of my favorite, favorite funnels, my favorite workflows, my favorite automations that has been providing me and my business a lot of revenue. And with this one, simpler is honestly better. Let me just show you really quick uh, the exact funnel, the exact workflows, and how I promote it. Now, this is for my construction business. I have this little construction handyman slash landscaping business, in which case I have a couple of contractors, uh, my general contractors, and my entire job is just to send those guys uh, send those guys estimates. They go out, do the estimates. They come back, tell me the price. I go fulfill the job. They get paid, and then I get paid my little 15% retainer on there. So let me explain exactly how I do this, starting out with the actual way I bring traffic in. And now, guys, honestly, this is my favorite thing over here. This is the coolest thing. I've been working on this Facebook group over here for, I don't know, maybe three years now. I live in this community. It's called Hamlock Farms. And it's a small, tight-knit community, but it is pretty big. It has over 80 miles of uh, road on there. And what I did is I created a Facebook group called Hemlock Happenings, Hemlock being the name of the community. And I got a whole bunch of people to join this group, you know, all past clients. I'll just hand out business cards with a QR code. Remember something like over here? Or oh, do I have a business card here? Let me see. I don't think I have a business card here. No, I don't. All right, but I would hand out business cards. And all these business cards have QR codes. And this QR code would just go straight to my Facebook page, okay? I don't have any business card. I'm searching my wallet right now. Nada. That's pretty sad. Whatever. All right. So I will hand out the business cards to all my past clients. You know, and I'll literally go to the dump and I'll give the guy at the dump a pizza and I'll load it up with business cards in there. So he feels more entitled to want to hand out my business card. You know, every single time I'd go to the dump to throw stuff out, I would make sure I make it a point. I'll be able to help people out there. You know, I'll go to the, especially the old ladies, you know, those are my big money makers. Is I go to all the old ladies and I help them with the, with the garbage. I'll have a general conversation with them. I'll be like, hey, have you checked out the Hemlock Happenings Facebook group? Or, hey, I do uh, landscaping. My company specializes in painting, deck work, um, whatever's kind of popping at the season. Like currently right now, it's about to turn to fall. You know, everybody's kind of getting ready for wood and for firewood. So I'm always talking about firewood around my community over here. And I'm talking about firewood, especially when I go to the dub. You know, uh, price of firewood starting to increase already. How can that be? You know, um, over here, just had a local guy uh, wash all my exterior windows and only charging $1.99. See me responding to all these people. It all connects. Um, rescue doggos. Uh, what are you grateful for? Gus, uh, logo. Always talking about my company. This guy's like, ooh, like, right? you know, always just showing off what we do, showing that hey, we do deck work over here. You know, always just flooding this over here with, uh, with work, with uh, value content. You know, we're doing giveaways on this group all the time. We're always posting about, hey, what's the latest that's going on in Hemlock, the latest events, you know, comedy night over here. You know, just overall, just get people to give a proper mixture of a value in terms of events and what's going on. And also, hey, this is our business. Just give us some money, you know. I always try to aim for around 70 to 80% value. The other 20, 30% is actual like call to action, showing off what we do. And I find that's that kind of the, the, the sweet spot over there, especially when it comes to just overall all organic content. When you're doing like YouTube, when you're doing Instagram or Facebook, what I've always found is that there's a nice sweet spot where in which you provide more value than you do uh, promotional, more value than you do asking people for money, asking people to buy your shit. Because when you provide more value, it allows people to trust you more and it makes it very easy to sell whatever you're trying to sell. So this is the big money maker right here. This is the big traffic generator, okay? This is where people over here, they check out me. I'm always posting. Me and my team are always posting about my construction business, my landscaping business, my handyman business over here. They always hit my website. You know, they always shoot me a text to my number. And that number is tied into an AI chatbot in which a later video, I'll talk about how exactly how that handyman AI chatbot schedules, uh, pre-qualifies and schedules up appointments for my handyman business, you know, making my business a lot more hands off. I'll show you that in another video though. Right now, I want to show you this, okay? This is my moneymaker here, my Facebook group, guys. And just overall, getting this thing popping has significantly 10x my revenue, especially when it comes to my handyman business over here. You know, I remember when I first started out this handyman business, this is like well before marketing, I would really ride my skateboard with a lawnmower in front of me and a weed whacker holding on to it. And I would go house to house, just knock on people's doors like, hey, we do, we do landscaping, you know, I want to... I want to hook you guys up. 
but I've evolved into something more over here, in which case I started this Facebook group. You know, I'll go to the dump, you know, I'll put business cards everywhere. Let me tell you guys that business cards and putting out signs, that shit still works. It might be old, old school, putting out signs, handing out business cards, but that SHIT, that works, okay? Especially if you set up a, a business card where it's like a magnet so they can put it directly on the fridge to always see it. You know, and when you're doing any type of work, like one of my one of my buddies, he specializes in garage doors. Whenever he works on a garage door, he takes a sticker, puts it right next to the garage door control so that whenever somebody breaks a garage door, they know exactly who to call right right there. You know, so that can kind of work hand in hand with other things. So if you're doing a lot of my buddies I, I partner with, uh, I promote through here, like do blacktop work whenever they do blacktop work or they do a new roof matter of fact this week my boy tim is actually doing a new roof that i actually got from him right through this facebook group okay he's doing this roof and of course i of course of course i print out posters for him for him to just stick into the ground right there with my phone number to my ai chat bot and anybody that texts that phone number that that's presenting right in front of the house that's just a little post stuck in somebody's actually working he's actually working on the roof people see you know the name of the company people see who i call if i want my roof repaired repaired or fixed so all those small little things kind of work hand in hand to be able to make like a, an empire over here let me show you really quick the actual funnel and some of the workflows because overall they're pretty simple for example, my first one over here, my firewood funnel. This overall is just to automate firewood because I get a lot, a lot of orders, especially now for, for firewood. So now let me show you the funnel, how it's built out. It's just this simple little landing page over here. Firewood delivered to ASAP. No matter the weather, we will deliver firewood to your house. Click here, check pricing. Why choose us? Now, this is a little cool video over here where a tree actually knocked down the middle of the road. And so, nothing so, we took, so we took the truck put it towards a tree and move the tree out of the road. As you can see over there, there's a big, uh, big line of cars over there that was stopped. Now it showed us how stacking the firewood because we, we offer delivery and then stacking. Pretty simple. And at the very end, it showed like a happy person on it. But overall, simple page is realistically, it doesn't need to have too much more. And then, of course, our services, talking about other things that we do. The only thing I can probably do better is over here, uh, being a little form in which case people can hit that form or a phone number or a button over here, which takes them to my main site, in which case it will show off firewood delivery, leaf removal, pressure washing, painting, landscaping, hardscaping. That'll probably one up a little bit better. But yeah, this is firewood, pretty simple. Next page over here, they fill out a little form, say how much that they want. And the second page will be over here where they actually then place the order. Okay, and the actual page is just a simple order form with pricing and stuff like that. Why choose us? Just to just reiterate the fact that, hey, you can trust us over here. You know, it would probably be better if I add some more success stories down below over here but or testimonials saying, hey, this guy always shows up. You know, best prices, the the most driest wood, well-seasoned wood. That probably went up it right there. And then obviously after that, final page, just a simple thank you page. Thank you page just saying, hey, thank you for the order. We'll be contacting you within 24 hours for a delivery day. Okay. And the next thing that we do in this firewood is we got to set up a couple automations. Of course, of course, of course. You already know. Firewood purchase, very, very simple. Now, just a simple workflow that's going to show it. Every single time that two-step order form gets submitted, it sends me a notification and it sends one of my subcontractors that handles the firewood a quick notification with their name, um, address, and it should also include their phone number as well, contact phone number, but he usually just looks it up in the system, but phone number makes sense. For him to then just directly contact that person, be like, hey, um, when's a good time? You know, just schedule up a time. And then from there, what he does is he just schedules up a call and go high level. I mean, schedules up a, a actual freaking uh, delivery date on go high level. Just to make it very simple. Okay. Next thing we have over here is the actual opportunity section. And I'm going to show you the other things that we have over here. But I want to show you mainly the firewood request because this is pretty simple. So what we could do is Purchased over here and then delivered. What I could do to make it a little bit better is purchased, you know, delivery date chosen, delivery date picked, delivered, then both paid. Uh, but right now, this works very, very well for us. So we're going to keep it just like that. So now this is for the firewood over here. The next thing that we have is the actual jobs that we have available too. So now most of our jobs, like again, come from this Facebook community. And most of the jobs do come from people just texting me or hitting me up through Facebook Messenger or people posting in 
similar communities, similar Facebook groups like this that are all about hemlock. Like, for example, the real hemlock farms over here. This is like one of my competitors' Facebook group. Now, this guy did the same thing. This guy named Mike Verone over here, he owns the group, and he has a uh, Building Dream Houses is his company's name. I don't know exactly what it's called. You don't quote me on that. But he does the same exact thing. You know, he has his Facebook group, in which case he brings people in. Now, this guy talks a whole lot of drama in here, which is what really stirs up his engagement. But he's known for getting all of his jobs through his Facebook group. And people are constantly posting stuff up on here, you know. And even I, if I see like a landscaping job over here, I'll hit those people up. I'll have my VAs or I will. We'll reach out to these people, hit those up and hustle to get those jobs. It's a great way to hustle, you know. So throughout these Facebook groups, there's plenty of ways of hustling for getting money to make money here. One thing that you can do even further to really just to really make sure that you hustle and get every single job that's posted in these Facebook groups is you can set up a simple AI bot that will notify you every single time certain keywords pop up in a certain Facebook group. So like, for example, this Facebook group, I can set up a quick bot, a quick little extension that says every single time somebody writes the word firewood, it will notify me so that I know to then reach out to those people or it will notify my virtual assistant to then reach out to those people, hustle a little bit and get that job set up. In which case, they just put it right into the serum over here. All right. The next thing over here is the actual job organization. Now, the way I have this set up is pretty simple. Well, I think it's simple. <laughs> Let me head over my workflow over here. Because the way we built this out is on the on our website. And I'll show you in a moment. I should show that first. But on the website, it has just a simple form. Simple form is pretty much asking them, hey, what do you want to do? What do you need help with? What's the what's a job in what's a job in title? Okay. And on this order form, they have an option of choosing, you know, they put, they put the job title, job description, and then job niche. And that job niche is really what separates the job to go out to different project managers. For example, leave cleanup goes out to my boy Lester, you know, gotta work, Lester, 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 okay, Lester for now, snow plowing. And then I have over here, plumbing and electric goes out to Tim, you know. I do have excavator required over here. I'm switching that out to another client, another person, another partner I have, and also tree trimming over here, switching out to another partner. What I'm also going to do to upgrade this even further is I want to have different regions. So for right now, I have Hemlock. I also do a lot of work because my Google One business, the ranking of my Google One business is so freaking outstanding over in Scranton, which is about an hour, hour and a half away from me. You know, I get plenty of jobs calling me up for there, for that Google One business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this the same exact system for Scranton, okay? Because I do have a couple of contractors out there that I'm constantly giving work out to uh, because my Google My Business is ranked so highly. So I'm gonna set up another system, you know, same same exact concept. I put out a Facebook group. I set up VAs to hustle on Facebook groups. Any jobs they find immediately puts it into here. It reaches out to my contractor, say, hey, we got a job for you. Here's the SMS, schedule it out, go them a call. And overall it'll be the same exact, same exact stuff. You know, hop over the opportunity list over here. As soon as a new lead comes into here, you know, as soon as we hustle, we get that new lead come over here, boom. Then, then my contractor would then call them call them up, you know, schedule a time, go to the actual job location, give them an estimate. Once the estimate is sent, it goes over here. In which case, once they send the estimate, then they will actually add the value to the job, which I don't know why it's not loading right now, but go high level sometimes. It's going to be slow, especially when I'm recording. But on the actual set is when he actually puts the price. Over here, you can see Gabriel Landscaping, 300 bucks. Cool. Once they actually start the job over here, you know, most of the time, it's kind of like landscaping is usually just a one-day thing. Sometimes it might take two or three days, especially when it comes to, like, deck, deck jobs. In which case, you move them over to job start and then job completed. Once my contractor is paid, boom, over here. Then Blade, me, I get paid out, okay? And like I said, I get 15% of those jobs, except when they're using my equipment, in which case I charge a little bit extra. But that's overall the system, guys. You know, most of this is just ran by organic marketing and just overall taking VAs to hustle through Facebook groups. You know, one, like I said, you could automate this even further by adding a AI, AI keyword search tool in which case it searches these facebook groups you know you give them a list of all the facebook groups in your area you know uh for example like nepa northeastern pa um jobs northeastern pa community scranton community blah 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 all of those if you add that ai bot onto there that notifies you when specific keywords like firewood comes out boom that's gonna make you a lot more money guys so i want to i want to thank you guys for watching
I hope this helped, guys. I want to say welcome once again to work fl Workflow Wednesday, guys. I love doing this. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, what niche I should do next or what type of funnel I should do next, I'm more than happy to break it down and explain exactly how it scaled that up, you know. Over here, hustling really does work well on here. You know, I'm bringing this business well past 10K every single month, mainly just because I'm hustling. And the way to really just start scaling this shit up is obviously running some Facebook ads to retarget everybody that hits the website. You know, I would probably put up a couple of Google My Businesses in different areas. For example, we got Scranton. I put up a Google My Business based upon like a highly utilized keyword. For example, if I'm offering firewood, I'll put like, best firewood in Wilkes-Barre. I'll do another one in best firewood in Scranton. I'll do another one, best firewood in Milford. And just have a whole bunch of Google My Businesses all racking up that keywords very highly. So that all just sends traffic to there, sends traffic back to the CRM. It's one way I'd boost it up. And overall, specifically for contracting, what really, really works very well is the combination of using Google and Facebook ads. In which case, I would run a simple Google keyword search ad. In which case, for example, like let's say, I mean, I have an ad blocker in here, so we'll go to Google Chrome. So over here, if I look up um, Firewood near me, by using a Google-based search and ad, that performs so much better than using like a Facebook app. These people are actually searching out Firewood or um, roof replacements, roof repairs, painting. Those people are actually interested. So the way I would set it up is I would just run a, a Google ad, Google search ad, to specific keywords, and then I would retarget everybody through Facebook ads is how I would really start scaling that up. And obviously making sure my hustlers are on point, my VAs are super trained on how to close more deals, you know, give them a solid script, you know, making sure everything's super clean so we're, we're handling jobs, nobody's really getting lost uh, in terms of us getting paid out. You know, one thing that I might even add as well too is an automatic payout, in which case as soon as, you know, as soon as, for example, my contractor gets paid out, I sends them the client over an invoice saying, thank you for making the payment of my contractor of 300 bucks, okay? As soon as it says that, it's going to verify that the contractor is saying the right amount. You know, as I did have some issues in the past, in which case contractors would take my jobs and they wouldn't really pay me out. So the way to really fix that is to automatically send out those clients an invoice saying, Thank you for the payment to Home Heroes of 300 bucks. If any, if there's any changes in prices, make sure to contact this phone number. You know, and there is a, and somebody does complain that saying, hey, they, I got overcharged more than 300 bucks, got charged 350. You know, whereas the contractor's trying to make extra money, trying to be a little slimy. I'm like, yo, contractor, you're gone. I can find a hundred of you guys. Okay. Because every, what, what contractor is going to say no to extra work? Okay, and we're gonna leave that 15% that I charge. All they really need to do is the job is like 300 bucks. All right, just charge an extra, I don't know, 45, 50 bucks to make up for my expense. Pretty simple. So I find that contractor marketing works phenomenally. Matter of fact, that's what got me through college. Okay, my first one, two years of college, what ultimately really got me through paying rent, paying that monthly college net because I was paying cash to my college for my education before I dropped out was I literally networked with a whole bunch of contractors in my area and I would go door knocking to every real estate company, every property managing company. And I would, and I would go on all the Airbnb Facebook groups and I would just talk to all those people, build connections and I'll find jobs for my contractors to do, you know, that's how I did it. And then eventually I started scaling that shit up where I would get some VAs. My first uh, VA, Hannah, was the one that would, that would reach out to all these Facebook groups, scan all these Facebook groups, find any work, send them over to me. I'll, send, I'll close the deal and I'll schedule them in to talk to my buddy, um, usually Ray, which is my contractor over in Scranton. So that's how I would start scaling that shit up. Obviously, like I said, in keyword, um, Google ads are the best specifically for contracting, you know, um, and then Facebook retargeting ads. Yeah. So guys, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching. You have another niche that you want me to do. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to explain how I would scale those things up, guys. If you guys want to hop on a personalized AI funnel mapping session, first thing, you need to have a marketing budget of at least a grand, all right? Second thing is there's plenty of ways you can get in contact with me. You know, you can contact one of my assistants, have my, my Facebook group, Funnel Hacker Labs, facebook.com slash group slash Funnel Hacker Labs, or even in the description, you can find a way, one of my links is plenty of ways to get in contact with me. 
And I want to help you guys. You know, when we become a Funnel Hacker Lab member, my entire job is to make it as successful as possible. I go out of my way to make sure that I help you guys out. So check out Funnel Hacker Labs. There's a whole lot of free value in there. You know, you get the AI chatbot, you get the funnel library, the design demand, the, the funnel planner tool. You're going to get your own Go High Level account. You're going to get all the AI trainings, all the Facebook ad training, Google ad trainings, you know, the client acquisition methods, all the cheat sheets to run ads, Google ads, everything. And what's the most important part is you're going to get access to a private chat, a private support chat, plus a bi-weekly Zoom strategy session. So click on the link down below, guys. Only 147 a month, probably the best investment you're going to make in your life. Click the link down below, guys. I'll talk to you later. Enough of that shameless promo. Peace, guys, and I'll see you at the top.